Hello, everyone. This is Coach Jay. I am so excited to bring to you a video about why it feels hard right now and what you need to do to pivot in your business so that the rest of this year, you can just kind of coast. Like I know that a lot of people are like really, really feeling the burn in terms of like growth in your business. And I think this video is really going to bring some level of understanding and also just re-energize the way you see business. Because I'm going to tell you this, it's 2024. Um, You just saw the Senate. Um, What they just literally can the uh, TikTok. So right now it's just a really, really awkward space for social media, the powers that be. And I just feel like there's such a need for people to just revisit and go back to the beginning in terms of like the passion for their business. And so this video is really about if it feels hard to you, if it feels hard for you, to build your business, to grow your business and stay in the flow. This is like, take notes. I'm going to go over about, about five tips or five ways that you can just re-energize um, your business. And as you know, my style is really just teaching. Like I love to teach. And as a business coach who works with women in my group container called the Matriarch CEO Coaching Program, as well as I have courses, and ways that you can start to grow your business ASAP in the description below. So definitely subscribe. Uh, feel free to share this video with someone that you know would benefit, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started. So if it feels hard for you to build and grow your business right now, I want you to really, really take in these particular um, ways on how to kind of re-energize yourself because I know you need this. So number one, I need you to go all the way back to your why, okay? Go back to your why. Like redefine success for you. Like go back and look at what do I need to do to just kind of regain this confidence and courage again to just hit the ground running like I used to at first. You know, just go back to the beginning days. Like I've told people like the day that you signed your first client, you know, the day that you put your social media post out there and told people exactly what you were doing and everybody just went crazy on social media. Go back to the days of how you felt that day, like that frequency, that energy that you felt, and then start to write down like what does success feel like for you right now? And I think that's the thing too, is a lot of people are so tense, but I want you to relax. Definitely dream again. Go back to your imagination, write down what it means for you to build at this point. And understand that if you work now, you get to play later, okay? Work now, put in the labor, sow the seeds now, but make a plan. Like, look at your schedule. Is your schedule all over the place? Are there some ways that you kind of relaxed your boundaries and allow people just to come in and do whatever? Like go back to like your schedule, look at your structure. Do you have a to-do list? Do you have your calendar? Go back, okay, go back. Because I think that's another big piece of it too is energy management. You really just need to go back and define what success means to you. Look at your structure and reorganize everything, okay? Number two, this is a big one. Reach out to people even if it feels hard to do that. Reach out to people that you don't know, even if it feels weird. I think the thing is too, is that sometimes we are so into just reaching out to the same people, but I guarantee you, once you start reaching out to people that you don't know, and you start to see some responses coming back from these people, it's going to be like a, just a new wave that's going to just come over you and through you when it regards to your business. Because I think sometimes too, is that we're so comfortable with the familiar, especially if it's the same people coming to your master classes or the same people coming to your workshops, the same people, you know, inquiring or just engaging with your content. You need to start refreshing your 
feed, refreshing your contact list, your email list, and get new fresh blood into your space. So reach out to people, even if it feels crazy, just just start to invite another wave in, okay? Because you are always looking for new people to impact. Just like you are serving the current ones, you are working with the current people that's in your world. You need to be able to bring more people that you've never met before into your world. Okay, number three, I want you to also soar past social media. Now, this is going to be really key for a lot of you that are super comfortable on the Facebooks, on the TikToks, on the Instagrams, like you're going to have to soar past, okay? What do I mean by that? That means that maybe you need to make a spreadsheet, go on Google, look up some businesses in your local area, in your region, and start to make connections with people like that. Go to some in-person events, start to have conversations with real people, spark up conversations at the store, like you never know who you're going to meet. You never know where your next client is. So just be mindful of that. And if you have a little bit of a um a story behind like how you met a client a non-traditional way, it could be at Target or you met somebody through, you probably went to a barbecue or you probably went to the gas station. Like tell, tell me in the comments how you manifested a client out of nowhere. I'm always, I love stories like that because- they're always amazing. Um, but yeah, soar past social media. Think about cold email marketing too. Like get into the cold emails. Like it sounds really crazy, but I'm telling you cold emails definitely can work. Um, global connections, please start making those, especially if you live in America. As you know, it's a little ghetto here. <laughs> it's a little ghetto here. But I promise you, like, you need to start reaching out past the waters because what it's looking like from the outside is that America is having so many problems they can't even keep up with. But I'm going to tell you this, if you are on, if you're aligned to what your work is, you know, you're smart, you know, you are intelligent, you know, you can get things done, but we also need to understand that reaching past where we are it's really a good strategy to take at this point. You really want to go past and work companies, small business owners, um, different entities, getting into some conversations over the phone to discuss business ventures, partnerships, collaborations, coaching, consulting, and things of that nature. So definitely soar past that, okay? Social media is not the end all, okay? So just leverage what you have, mm-hmm, Leverage what you have and get past social media, okay? Next thing I want you to do is create value-based content. Like right now, you, you see me on YouTube, right? You see me on TikTok. You may see me on Facebook, but you need to create content that is going to stand the test of time and that people will be able to come back and look at three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, five years from now. So start thinking about not only relevant content that's going on right now in the market or what's going on in the business world or what's going on in your industry, your niche, but also start to think about the evergreen piece too. The evergreen value-based content is really, really key. So all you need to do is really just do a little bit of research in your niche. What are people looking up? What are they searching for? And then you need to move accordingly and write titles down, get some um, some insight and some ideas and definitely, definitely start to create content on an evergreen level because what you want to do, like YouTube, you want to be able to have evergreen content that people can look at and digest over time, okay? So value-based content, teachable content, um, life, a little bit of lifestyle. It just depends on your style of presenting to an audience. Okay. And then I'm going to say this too, for all of y'all that kind of y'all hate cameras, but more live you go live more, pick a platform, pick one or two, 
you can do the um there there's several different uh platforms where you can use more than one platform at a time or you can access more than one platform at a time in order to go live but i'm going to be honest with you like it really doesn't matter which one you use just go live more if youtube is the place that you absolutely love go live on youtube go live on facebook go live on tiktok but you need more live feeds and you need to be able to show people that you can be trusted because a lot of people we can write content like i'm a I love writing content, but I also know that my face and my voice seals the deal because people need to know that I'm a real person. I'm not AI. <laughs> I have a voice. So it's really important that we start to connect ourselves with things, even with the fears that are going on with, you know, face, voice, all of these things, people that are getting really savvy online that are hacking voices and hacking your persona be very careful but at the same time you're doing this for your business so definitely move forward in creating content that is really going to seal the deal when it comes down to trust so one big way you can do that is definitely showing your face more and talking more to the camera and you're reaching people all over the world so more live you will definitely shift a lot of that energy into just kind of really feeling better about building your business. So it's not, it, it gets to feel easy. At some level, you have to believe that you start to really haunt in the understanding that I, I'm really built for this. Like it's okay to feel like getting a funk every now and then. But at the end of the day, if what you do is super, super important to you, then you have to find the strength within to keep going. This is not a discouragement post or a post to kind of show like, oh, I got it all together. And this is, no, it's really about, I know how a lot of women get. I know how people really get to a place where they just feel like everything is so hard. Like, why is it so hard right now? First of all, as we know, inflation and all of these other economic things that are going on in our in our world today and shifts and changes are happening but it is so important that you stay grounded and connected to your objective your goals your vision for your life i don't care what the economy does i don't care how many times they change i don't care how many doom and gloom reports you get at the end of the day your vision matters your reality matters and you have to stay in the present moment like, don't let these people fear you into getting out of business. Stabilize your nervous system. Do the breath work. Focus on the main thing and keep going. Just keep going, okay? How did you like this video? Definitely put below what your thoughts are regarding what I said in this video. And do you have any additional tips? Is it something that you went through that you can give advice to some of the viewers here? I would love to know. Thank you so much. And until next time. This is Coach Jay.